Right, so, yeah, I paid X18 a visit and I've got the documents. Well, well, I see. Now that's interesting, very interesting. If I told anyone, they wouldn't believe me. Would you just look at that? I didn't expect this. It's pretty bad, eh? Well, take here, take these back and give them to the barkeep. Oh, and I owe you for your efforts, 15k. Right, I'm here for the job. Eliminate two bandits at the garbage. I might take some gear this time instead of the money. Uh, 54539, is that... No, that's for a different weapon, isn't it? I'll take the money then. Right, find the item. I've done that, yep. I'll take the money. Um, I'm on the job. What's that for? Which job? Oh, well, the mercenaries. I've done them, right. Money received 2k, got grenades in return. Item received, Saiga 12c Thresher. That could be what I'm already holding. Thank you, Mark 1. You saved the whole camp and an, and an old man whose life was tattered with, moti, with moth eaten, so to speak. He he. For good work, a good reward. You deserve it. Special missions. Well, here's the deal. A box containing the reports made it by an expedition that went deep north into the zone has been taken into the army outpost. By day, it's guarded as, as if it was filled with pure plutonium, but for some reason at night, they only leave two guards. Go on. Sneak into the outpost quietly and recover the box. Do that and I'll pay you anything within reason. Will you do it? Well, I've already got a box from that area. I wonder if I've already done it. Right, I'll try. I'll get the cash ready. You haven't let me down once. Just one other thing. Keep it low profile. If the military gets pissed off, we're all in for a lot of trouble. All right, I have done it. Yeah, mission complete. I could have sworn that this was for uh, Sidorovich. Mission complete. Here's the box from the army outpost. Good. You were a great help. But of course, a thank you won't buy you a piece of bread. Here's 20, wait, 15,000 and we're square. By the way, the soldiers will certainly notice it missing, so things are going to heat up. You better get going, and the faster the better. Right, I've got to just stop for a sec, because... Have we now got another sire mission? I'll take a bottle of vodka. Not bad. That is really odd, that sort of creature that just sort of, I don't know, clip through the wall. Right, so what have I got to do next? Find the, the case that was stolen by Fox that sparks a memory. Oh, that's it. Behind the southern outpost fence near the toilet and a heap of rubbish. Man, he couldn't have found a better place to drop it off. Yep, I'd agree with that. Pretty much one of the worst places he could have chosen. I think after doing that quest, it's probably time to go back to Barkeep. That would seem to be the case. Right, let's just check my inventory. That's the 102 I got from Sid, I think. But that's not going to be as good as the G36. Fractionally more damage, but I guess you'd never notice it. It's got fractionally better handling as well than the G36. That's pretty good timing. Got a blowout coming by the looks of it. Uh, the G36 has got much greater rate of fire. I'll probably keep the 102 AK just to see how it feels because, as I've said before, 
these stats can be a little bit misleading from time to time. Alright, I can go outside. What time is it? 20 past 9. Alright. Good hunting, stalker. Something's going on again. What the hell? Just caught a flash of red on this guy. Oh, it's military. Well, I'll take the bandage. Right, they're standing down. Now there's a fair few of them here. Always feel better when there's a good few of us at the rookie village. Hang on a sec. This stuff, this is going to take the five five six by four five, isn't it? Ah, that's the wrong ammunition. Five 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 four five by three nine. So that takes the same ammunition as the G thirty six, but I've got nothing in it. <laughs> Alright, it's got a sight, but doesn't really make any difference. I suppose I'll try it at close range. Bit of a nicer model. But for now, I need... Yeah, that's a problem actually. I don't have any long range weapons with ammunition in. Ah, I've got a one magazine for that. But no scope. I'd like to think. All right, there is an army guy there, but I'm hoping that it's not repopulated with as many. Much, much less, hopefully. There's two. Now, can I get that box by going over in that direction? I mean, I see the mine signs, which let me right off. But I'll give it a go. Right, they see me. Here we go again. Ah, oh, boy. They really are e eagle eyed in this mod. Looks to be quite a few of them.
Right, I don't know if that last grenade blew that guy up. But I think I'm just going to take a chance and run for it. Right, was that a mine or a grenade? I'm hoping in a way it was a mine. Ah, uh, what was that? I think it was a mine, and maybe I just... I've got a feeling I've taken that mine detector off. <laughs> uh, let's load and find out. Uh, no, I've got the mine, the mine detector on my person, but I don't... I didn't hear any... I guess it was a grenade then. So we've got the problem now of trying to push these guys back once again. Oh. And no long range weapons really. So this this quest may have to wait again. Well, not the quest, but uh, attacking the uh, army base may have to wait again. Grenade. Yeah. I thought the tree might block the uh, the grenade, but no. So I think I'm going to leave that quest until I've got a long-range weapon again. And, or, more ammunition for, uh, or some ammunition for the G G36. Having said that, I don't know why I didn't think about unloading that 102 and putting that ammunition in the G36. So let's just give that one last try. No idea why I didn't think of this before. We got any grenades in this thing? No, no grenades left. Might just nip back to Sid actually and see if he's got any M209s or whatever they're called. Well, it's only one magazine, but at least I've got a scope on this, but it's not particularly a uh, good scope, but it's not that bad either. Gotta try and keep my distance a bit. Because, of the, yeah, oh god, they're at it already. Trying to be as accurate as I can. That's one down, that's good. There's more of them than I thought here. Right, that's the other one. Got about half the magazine left. Right, he, he's down. Uh, any of them alive? Yeah, one of them is. Right, I don't know how many are left, but I'm going to make a quick save here. I'm just going to take a chance and run for it, and hopefully... Uh, that's all that's there, just the three of them. But it wouldn't surprise me at all if there's another one, which... 
is uh, is the case. Now, I think this guy is going to be through there and up the stairs. Sam's damn close. Just up there. Обана! Ха! Был противник и нету! Где ж ты, скотина, такая залет? Right, what is that weapon? That's just a... Oh, it's the AK-74N3. Which has normally a... Is it a 45 magazine round? Ah, but probably not this one. Some of them just have 30. Right, I'm just going to loot these guys first, then I'm going to come back and get this package. I didn't go to the end there last time. I take it you... I don't know if you can go on to the next section from there, but I will take a look. I don't think you can, but it's worth just having a look. That's a mine, I heard it. Oh. Right, you may have heard that mine there really pulsating loud, or the detector anyway. Uh, but that was, uh, I really thought I was going to be a goner there. Oh, that's for the XM8 and the FN2000. I didn't know they were in this mod. So although this mod clearly attempts to try and keep it quite like vanilla, uh, there is there are changes in it which uh, give it uh, you know a more varied feel, which is good. Uh, but I got to drop something. I think I'll just eat. Just eat a slice of bread. Hey, 
Hey, see, although it says, um, yeah, weak radiation, I often overlook that, so I'll drop that. Miss, I won't bother with the other sausages either. All right, and the bread as well. It says, but this is not contaminated and almost completely edible. Well, it did give me a tiny bit of contamination. Right, let's find this. Uh... I wonder if you can get on top of the roof and then jump over. Speaking of. Uh... Well, speaking of nothing, actually, I just wanted to check to see if this area leads on to another place you can go to. Yeah, looking at the map in the top left, I don't think there's much going to... Ah. Some sort of side effect. Alright, let's get out of here, quick. That's obviously electrocuted. Right, well that's, uh, that's, that's told me that then. I quite like the the way it's been finished off with all these fences and the uh, guard posts. Clearly there's nothing in them, otherwise I'll be dead. Right, no information around here about stashes, so... I'm assuming there's nothing. Right, if I remember rightly, it might be in here. Although I might be thinking of another mod. Ah, here it is. Oh, maybe not. Ah, uh, I don't think I need that ammunition. Right, is that? Yeah, it's lard. Alright, I can drop that, I think. Right, I know the potatoes are irradiated, so I'm going to drop those as well. Right, does the cheese give me slight radiation? No, that doesn't. I'll just drop the uh, ammunition there. Right, well that uh, that case or whatever it is doesn't appear to be here.
Well, God knows where this thing is. Oh, there it is. Right in front of me all the time. Right, so I've got to drop a fair bit of weight here. Uh, I'll just drop the grenade launcher. Which actually weighs quite a bit, funnily enough. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I'll just eat the food. I can always pick up some more at SIDS. Uh, if I drop a bottle of vodka as well. Right. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be safe going back that way. But. I'll give it a whirl. Right, that was leaping quite fast. Right, that's bleeping very fast. Seems when you go near the edge. Oh, crap. I was doing okay actually, but I think next time I'll just, uh, I'm under no pressure from the military, I'll just go back through the base. don't think I've ever known the military outpost there as hard to approach as I have done in any other mod. Ah, I might pay this guy to fix my gear because uh, it's the other one, isn't it? Because it's uh, my suit could do with repairing. Hey, Mark, get your ass over here. We need to talk. Fanatic loner. Right, you could use some help. What help do you need? I'm Fanatic and I'm filling in as leader since Wolf left. Well, Wolf got killed. A few mercenaries came by here yesterday and they were some tough bastards. Let me tell you. So they came here and made a serious demand. They gave us one day to clear this camp out as they wanted to set up their own base here. They're coming back tonight, and as you can imagine, this they won't be in the mood for a chat. So what are you going to do? We're going to set up an ambush, because a direct attack would probably be the end of us. They've got the fighting gear and everything, plus they're trained in tactics. And all we've got here are little boys. So we've decided to just sit tight in these houses and make it look like we're gone. Then when the right moment comes, we'll attack. Fighters like you are just the thing we could use right now. And we'd make sure to thank you properly after it's all over. You know we're good for it. So what do you say? Will you help us out? Yeah, I will. Right, spend the rest of the time preparing for the fight. Here's the plan. I'll put the hope, most hopeless rookies in houses and basements and tell them not to make a move. Otherwise, they might just slaughter our own troops. You and me and a couple of other decent shots will take the best positions to have an eye on the area around the fire. As soon as they come close to the fire, we let the bullets fly from everywhere. They'll be coming from the bridge, and I don't think we'll have to wait long. So find yourself a hiding place with a view, then wait for my command. Take a look around, but remember that your odds aren't as good in the open. It's your call. 
Right, well, let's begin. I could do with getting some gear sorted first. Right, repair my gear. Uh, right, G36, re full repair. Uh, monolith, monolith suit, yeah, repair that. And then the other Saiga. So that's about 30 grand, but worth it. Right, what have we got here? Right, I'm not quite sure where a really good spot's going to be, but... Just wondering, somewhere like here... I could just spam them with grenades, actually. Right, I can see some red on the horizon. I'm going to go for it now. Right, I think I got one there. Maybe more, actually. Oh, I see one. I think our boys may have taken that one down. I think I took out a few of them actually with uh, that grenade, so that was pretty sweet. Alright, yeah, there's someone over there. Let's see if Fnatic's got anything for me. You're a real killer, Mark One. Uh, I wouldn't want to stand in your way ever. Yeah, something like that. Well, whatever. Fifteen grand. Right, that's that then. Right, so we've got a bit more in the way of ammunition for the G36. Got about three magazines, three and a half magazines. I really wish Sid sold this ammunition for the uh, si uh, G36. That's a bit of a shame. Don't just stand there like an idiot. Give me what you've got in scram. 
Ah, look, there's a briefcase with some papers Fox asked me to bring it to you. He said he had it stolen from the military outpost. I nearly forgot to do that. Right, here I'm interesting, nothing special, but it sheds some more light on the matter. It looks like not all the docks are here. There must be another briefcase somewhere with the rest of them. Here's a small present for your trouble, marked one. Until Fox no better, I get in touch with him myself. Right, any more interesting work? So you want some interesting work? Hmm, well marked one. There was an order from behind the perimeter. A customer needs artifacts. Don't turn up your nose, just listen. These are not common artifacts, so they're what stalkers call dummies. Ever heard of them? Now then, a full set is needed. I'll give you a list. Frankly speaking, I haven't seen all of them. They are rare around here. Whoever finds them usually keeps them. They are too good to sell. Though buying them may be possible. What about it? Interested? I'll tell you what, I know that you don't want to search, but most importantly, I know where you, I know you can find them. All right, all right, I'll make it worth your while. You know me, you won't regret it. All right, so what's he got up his sleeve? So a stalker came to him about three months ago. You may have already met such people. He was burnt out from being in the zone. He holed me. I think it means he told me he was leaving the zone because of this and wanted to get rid of all of his gear. I could see he was quite frustrated. So get to the point. He dropped everything on the counter, said I could have, and took off. Straight away. I noticed that he had some pretty good stuff, but one thing stood out. It must have been sickly expensive. But outside the perimeter, there are no buyers. It was an interesting protective suit, the likes of which I've never seen. I know they have similar ones at, in the mobile lab at Yantar. No one else will have one. I'll give it to you. Are you up to it? Yeah, okay. Right, so special missions is probably the main quest, isn't it? Yeah. Personal errands? I'm always grateful for help with orders, but unfortunately I have little. Here's what I can offer. Choose military near the anomaly. Guest at the elevator. In general, this is the job. I heard a whisper that two novices noticed how someone sits and smokes in the attic of the grain elevator near the bridge. Clearly they faded out of harm's way. It was a convenient place for an ambush and they didn't want to catch a stray bullet. Now I can't sleep with such a suspicious situation so close. So find out what mysterious kind of uh, what kind of mysterious guest had settled there and what's the hell he's doing in the cordon, okay? Yeah, all right. What about a general sort of job? Uh, I'm not going to do the kill the trader stalker. Uh, hunting trophies. Uh, yeah, I'll do the pseudo dog's tail. I think I've done that before for him. Um, right. Mm, probably not going to give him the night star, but I'll check it in a minute if I have one. Not sure I have one actually. Yeah, so I think that's about it at the moment. I'm starting to have uh, second thoughts about this, this uh, AK now, because all the while I'm carrying it around, it's got no scope. Uh, and Sid doesn't appear to sell one, so I think I'll just sell it to him. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. Uh, I'll sell one bottle of vodka. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. Right, so do I have a night star? I'm pretty sure I don't. I'll sell you the meat chunk. Not 
bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. Yeah, I think that'll do for now. Right, so the next thing I've got to do is find the artifacts. Right, I've got Mama's beads, but I'm not willing to sell it. I've got, actually, I've I think I've got almost all of those, funnily enough. But there's no hurry for it, so... I've got the shell, I've got the battery, I've got the pellicle, I think. I've definitely got the mummer's beads. I guess I could go and find that guest at the elevator. And hopefully get part of a mutant's body. I do need to head back to the bar before too long. Good right. Let's take a look. Just quickly repair some gear again before we go on our merry way. Weapon modification. Uh, tactical kit for the 102. Just sold it. Okay. Well, that's that then. Um, right, repair some gear, please. All right, nothing needs repairing. I thought. Uh, I thought some of the items just were slightly. That must be must be my eyesight. Right, so let's go and check the elevator out. <laughs> 